Okay, put on the set, please. And quiet, please. Okay. Four stop. And quiet on the set, please. We're about to roll. Camera's ready. And roll camera. Speed. Set. Action. Pull out. Cut. Cut. And we cut. Cut. Can we name? I really like directing children. I just think it's a lot of fun, and I find this in a sense of naivete with them. It's just really fun to work with them, and you can always improvise and create really fun backstories. Can we have like 30 seconds of room tone, please, everybody? The main focus is about a fire celebration we do in Iran called Charshan Besuri, which literally translates to Red Wednesday. And um, in this celebration, we perform it before our New Year's, which is the first day of spring. And it's an old Zoroastrian tradition where you jump across a series of fires and you ask the fire to take away all your sickness and misfortune from the past year and give you health and happiness for the upcoming year. So the scene is, uh, takes place in the classroom and it's a religious school. The teacher is giving kind of a lecture about non-believers going to hell because Shola, the main character, is not Christian. For her, it's uh, really difficult when her a uh, teacher tells that to her and um, she kind of goes in her fantasy world and imagines that the teacher has been set on fire. Shole is very shy and she's kind of an outcast and um, she's very um, religious and at school she, her religion just makes her um, different from all the other kids. Dear Lord, we ask you to watch over those who have been led astray. You really have to imagine things like that, and you have to personalize things um, so that you can have the same type of emotion. But it's really fun because there are a lot of fun scenes to do. The shot we're getting of you is from behind, though, right? I don't know if it's waist up. Where's the dirt? It's at? waist down. Okay. I mean, for us to launder it and fix I mean, it. There's a spot. I think I sat in something. You're like, bitch, don't you wash? <laughs> no, no, no. I can go, if I can find a bathroom, I can futz the around a little over bit. There. I'm playing a uh, woman named Mrs. Brown, and um, she is uh, anal retentive and um, very religious, very religious, and very sure she's right. And um, kind of a bitch to everybody who disagrees with her. I had taken no acting classes when I got the role. She instructed me the way an acting teacher would instruct me, but I didn't know it at the time. So then I took an acting class between then and now, and it was exactly the same way the acting teacher did it. She said, think of a place, think of a time when you felt this emotion that I want you to have. And that's actually very difficult to do. Not difficult to get to, but it's really hard to do that if it's a, you know, if it's a place where you have to be sad or you have to be really angry. It's hard to get built up to that and then have to quit and have people tell you move here and go there. So she seems to be pretty sensitive to that. The fearful, the unbelieving, the sinner, their place is in the lake burning with fire and brimstone. Let us pray. Good. Blah, blah, blah. Like okay. Okay. I don't know if you can think of somebody in your mind that you want to take revenge on in your life now, but I... or if you had somebody um, before and this is your way of getting back at them. Imagine they're in the classroom and this is the way that you can get back at them okay. by really Sorry. putting fear in them. Revelation 21.8 clearly states, not states, says, Revelation 21.8 clearly says, the fearful, the unbelieving, the sinners, their place is in the lake burning with fire and brimstone. Let us pray. Okay. okay. And it'll for sure be d different and have a different feel with all the kids in the room, so. Careful with the tracks, careful with the tracks. Careful with the tracks. Careful, guys. <laughs> Yeah, let's do it.
Tanner, can you move back a chair? And Elena, can you move to the front, please? I'm out of frame right here. Let me put that seat yeah. stand here, bring it all the way up like that. Oh yeah, and cap it. Because we've got the yeah, and cap it. Even vertical. So we bring it out like this. What do you want? Right? <laughs> the thingy in the back. The one pocket in the back. The couch in the back. Bob's ready. Bob's ready. Okay, can you call him first? Here we go. Okay. Right. Wow. Okay. I think that's the end. All right. Okay. okay. Quiet, please. Sound ready? Yeah. Okay, am I ready? Ready. Sound is speeding. <clears throat> this is 14 Alpha, take one. Full camera, speed. Marker. Action. Set. Revelation 21.8 clearly says, the fearful, the unbelieving, the sinners, their part is in the lake that burns with fire and with brimstone. Let us pray. Dear Lord, we ask you to watch over those who have been led astray. We ask you that one day they will know you and your glory. And cut. Thank you guys. This film doesn't take place in present day. This film takes place in the late 70s and 80s. So finding places that match that time and era was one of the great challenges. Um, finding a playscape that's not remodeled, that's still made out of wood, that's, that's a challenge. Finding a picket fence that looks like it's from the 80s is a challenge. Finding a cast um, that all can fit into those kind of costumes is a challenge. And just the locations and the company moves from moving from one location to another simultaneously, seamlessly without any hitches or any problems. We have six different locations. So putting all those locations together in a short amount of time is just, it's crazy, but hey, we're making it happen. Um, I think that there is a lot of opportunity here for the film itself to be uh, particularly cinematic. Um, we did, a couple of days ago, we did um, fire scenes, you know, where um, there were actors jumping over fire. There was uh, a little bit of reflection of light on water. There was interesting lighting. You know, just everything looks really pretty. We basically went over it um, shot by shot, and I told her kind of what I was envisioning, and we would just go through everything, and she would give me some input, and I would take it or wouldn't take it. But she's, she's been really um, helpful in the, the vision of this film. It was very clear in my head from the start, and I think the way it was written um, is kind of makes it clear how I wanted it to look visually. Nazanin is really fun. She always pauses, and she she's really good at helping me personalize and think of things that can really get me into that emotion. She's different. I really like her. Uh, Julia, do you mind slamming the book? Is that your frame, Iskra? Okay. <clears throat> this is 14 Alpha, take one. Roll camera, speed. Mark. Really, I just want to have a, um, a finished product that I'm happy with. And so far of what we've shot, it looks really great. I'm really happy with it. And it's been going well so far this week, weekend, so, yeah. This film and the last film that I worked on both had people who were from the Persian community as writer, director, producers. And I didn't realize there was such a large community of filmmakers that um, had that background. Here in, the, here in Austin. I might stay in Austin for a while, but I'd like to move around. Um, I like traveling a lot, and I like the opportunity to make films elsewhere, and I love films um, with cultural stories. And I definitely want to actually make a film in Iran, if I can at some point. So I haven't been back since I was 10, so I'd love to go back. <laughs>